Hi, this is Liana Bolden with Eternally Speaking Now. The title of this message is Just Like Dominoes, Just Like God. Our family took a long overdue vacation. I remember it was one of those times where we just needed extra quality time together. We were driving a long distance to go see family and have quality time with them as well. But along the way, we got to pause through seven different states and just enjoy some sights. It was awesome. We saw the Grand Canyon, the Painted Desert, visited a cavern, went to some ancient cliff dwellings in Pueblo ruins, and enjoyed some spontaneous stops at abandoned towns and other unique encounters along Route 66. In the midst of all this restful activity, God's presence was evident. There was one evening as we came upon a small town in New Mexico. It was dinner time, so I searched online for a restaurant as we drove into the area. We were hungry, and it was kind of time for us to just get out of the car. So when we arrived at the one we'd chosen, it was 7.05 p.m., but the restaurant had closed at 7. So we drove around the corner and found a diner. It wasn't quite our first choice, but it was obviously the only one open for miles. But it was also, <laughs> it had a line so long, it was out the door. So apparently the wait for our table was even longer. Well, Robin and Zach sat down on an outside bench. I decided to just kill some time at the gift shop. I found a postcard for Zach's collection and approached the cash, cash register. And as I looked down at the counter's edge, I saw a little piece of paper with a scripture on it. I read the verse and kind of hid it in my heart. You know, I was thankful for the previous customer who had put it there for, for me to see. And it was a timely reminder of God's peace, just in the midst of moving a lot and having a lot going on. John 14, 27 was what was on that paper. And it says, peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. These are the words of Jesus telling us. He's given us his peace. Don't be troubled. Well, after I paid, I saw that Robin and Zach had been seated, so I joined them at the table. Moments later, my phone gave a text notification. I don't usually grab my phone while dining, but before I knew it, I was reading a text from a friend back home. Out of the blue, she had been prompted to send me a scripture. Now, I just quoted to you John 14 about Jesus saying he gives us his peace. She sent me John 16, verse 33. And that says, from Jesus again, I have told you these things so that in me you may have peace. I tell you, it was incredible. It was a perfect compliment to the verse that I'd read at the cash register in fact, when I talked to my friend later, she said she almost sent that same verse that I saw at the cash register, but I was so glad she didn't because they both melded together really to bring a fuller, more personal message that the Holy Spirit wanted to speak that night. But there's more to this story and it's going to come together like dominoes. All right, so after our food arrived at the table, I just kept sensing the Lord telling me to get up and witness of him to the young people who were working at the cash register. I mean, it was so urgent that I just excused myself from the table. I let Robin and Zach know what I was going to go do. And I walked right up to those kids. And I just shared with them the series of events that had led up to my seeing both those scriptures. And then I read the scriptures to them. It was so cool. By the time we were all done talking, several other servers had gathered around like in a big circle to listen to what we were talking about. And do you know what one of them did? He responded saying, my mom needs to hear that. He immediately texted both the scriptures to her. Do you realize the situations that God arranged 
and all the things he accomplished through those steps, life experiences really can be just like dominoes, can't they? One incident affects another, which affects another. Follow each step that happened to date from what I've shared so far, okay? The restaurant we originally chose had to be closed in order for us to get to the other one. There then had to be a long line in order for me to consider even going into that gift shop. Then I had to find a postcard in order to even go pay at the cash register. And someone had to leave that verse there for me to see. But it keeps going. My friend had to obey the prompting from God to send that text and in that very timing. I had to actually read the text when I did. <laughs> then choose to walk forward in the courage from the Holy Spirit to share Jesus with the host and the wait staff up at the cash register. The young man had to hear that verse in order to share it with his mother. And his mother had to read that scripture in order for, well, dot, dot, dot. We have no idea where the dominoes fell from that point, but I have a feeling they kept going. It seems every step of our lives can be likened to another domino, being a consequence of another action while also affecting future events. And I, I realize this is no new concept. <laughs> Most of us have compared life's activities to dominoes. In fact, I looked up a little history it was kind of fun to discover this. The term domino effect was first introduced politically in 1954 by President Eisenhower. <laughs> he used it to express his grave concern about the spread of communism between countries. Hmm, that's interesting. But back to the purpose of this message. While my family's traveling experience reveals a happy domino fall, I am aware that many of our dominoes in life are not pleasant. So much of life doesn't make sense at the moment. Dominoes can knock us down with surprise, provoking fear and confusion. Others can be downright tragic and heartbreaking. So where do you find yourself today? in the midst of desired dominoes or unwanted ones. If you don't like your dominoes, may I speak the same verses to you that the Lord put in my face that night at the restaurant? Don't let your heart be troubled. Don't be afraid. Jesus gives you his peace. Whether we're facing the little inconvenience of a long waiting line or the life-changing intensity of personal trauma, all of his peace is available to all of us. You know, when the Lord whispered the title for this message to me, I was filled with curiosity about the etymology of the word domino. You are going to love this. Check this out. The full history of this word is fun to examine and you're free to do so with a simple internet search. But the root of the word domino is the Latin word dominus, which has the following meanings. Landlord, boss, master, owner, the Lord, Yahweh, Jehovah. That is what Dominus means the Latin word, which is the root of our English word domino. Isn't that incredible? We may not understand why certain dominoes appear in our lives, but we can be sure that our master, Jesus, the Lord, Yahweh, Jehovah, is working out all the details. He's the boss and he owns it all. He may take us to point A, then get us to point B, and we'll settle, settle there a while, comfortable and pleased. But then suddenly we're yanked to point C and nothing makes sense. By the time we reach point G or K though, we can look back and see the Lord's good hand in it all. Isn't it just like God to use all those dominoes to work his will in our lives and the lives of others? When we look at things from his perspective, we may even find ourselves liking the dominoes. 
and liking the way God works too. Dear people, the Lord's got you. Keep surrendering all those dominoes to him. Proverbs 19, 6 says, A man's heart plans his way, but the Lord directs his steps.